Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. This is an NTX Jeep, the original Jeep. And this was built by Minneapolis Moline. Uh, it was ordered by the U.S. government. Uh, they ordered 800 and some of them, 840 maybe. To our knowledge, there's about 26 of them left. We think this is one, possibly the only one, that's in original using usable condition. This machine spent most of its life on a naval air base in Alaska, went to military surplus where it was sold, and I purchased it approximately 10 years ago uh, at, a, at a sale in, out of Northeast Iowa. These were used primarily on runways and they're, they're full-time four-wheel drive so they, could, they would work on the temporary runways where they lay down the steel and put sand down. Uh, these, would, these could do that and they're, they're low profile so they could go underneath the wings of airplanes. Uh, they could tow the airplanes. Uh, they, they, were, they were designed for use by, by, by the Navy. The engine that they used in this was a version of, of, of the, R, the engine in the R tractors. What they did with this was this is one of the earliest engines that would have had hydraulic lifters. The military's or the government's idea was that they didn't want to destroy their engines, so they installed these hydraulic lifters that required enough oil and oil pressure. So if the engines were low on oil, they wouldn't start or they wouldn't run or they would die. Uh, once they lost pressure. There's a lot of little things on this, on this, uh, this machine that are really quite interesting. The, on the main housing, there's the, the naval insignia. It's a little tiny stamp that shows that it was uh, uh, claimed by, by the U.S. Navy. Uh, on, on one of the rear tires, uh, there's a number 43, uh, which indicates that that rim is a 43. Uh, we think this machine is a 42, uh, so obviously that rim got changed somewhere along the line. The fire extinguisher, if you can see it here, the fire extinguisher bracket, this one happens to be brass. The first year of production, they were brass. After that, they went to a cast. And there was, a lot of them had this fire extinguisher bracket and a fire extinguisher, which we don't have, unfortunately. Uh, they had the bracket on both sides. This one has a lot of the uh, original markings, the original numbers, uh, it's, it's, it's name that uh, was named for the airfield that's on here. It's just got a lot of original markings. I do know on the other side, the firing order is written, is scratched into one of the fenders. Uh, there's a lot of little marks on it that everybody's added over time, whoever's worked on it. Well, there's a couple things I think that, that I was really interested in. One, it's, it, it's an interesting vehicle. They're really unique. Obviously, they're very rare. I think the second thing was my dad was in the Navy and he was in World War II and he had seen these. These actually do show up periodically in, in uh, movies and such. And then the history. I am a bit of a history buff, obviously, with a lot of the other tractors as well. But uh, this is just a very unique, appealing, interesting part of history.